Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more to Sky 3 Absence of Detention. In the last episode, which uh, was still uh, post commentated, but this one is not. In the last episode, we uh, finished doing the demos for the generic characters. The generic humanoid characters, rather. In this episode, we are going to cover the our first group of eight monsters. Uh, I forget how many uh, monsters there are total in this game. Uh, future me, you can go ahead and put that up there right now. Anyway, you want to know what's great about monsters? Monsters don't learn weapon skills. They learn four unique skills and uh, two magic change skills, plus a couple of spells if they're lucky. So, um, I'll be able to show all that off now without having to turn aside to look things up in the guide. <laughs> <coughs> I had the thought of doing a, of, uh, for Disgaea 4 doing, like, a, uh, a character bio of the day, but I'd pretty much have to play through the entire game first just to, uh, get everything set up for that, so, uh, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna save them all for the end again. If I decide to do them at all! <laughs> and I know it's a little soon to be talking about this guy at 4 and all, but, uh, yeah. So, anyway, uh, let's get started out here with our abilities, because, uh, again, we are learning three of them each, and, uh, we cannot fit them all in a single uh, character slot in battle. So, first up is the, uh, is the Black Pudding with these four abilities. Gel Body uh, halves the damage from non-elemental attacks. Poisonous Matter uh, has a chance to add poison effect to a normal attack. Poison Chance... What? Huh. That's a strange name for that ability, but uh, it does double damage against poison targets. Deadly Poison... Uh, apparently, uh, if you're adjacent to a poison enemy, they take double damage from their poison. That's a very bizarre thing, <laughs> I gotta say. Anyway, you can see his aptitudes down there in the corner. I will be putting up his uh, unlock requirements right now. Slimes are among the first monsters you can unlock, though, so uh, yeah. Alright, now that we're in our practice map, let's show off his skills, shall we? Oh, I forgot to, uh... Forgot to do a thing. Oh, uh, we can show off his unique skills here and, uh... Move on to... By the way, he learns poison. Uh, through the ability shop. Anyway. His unique skills are, um... Not being able to reach an enemy. Slime, why are you so slow? Here, have a what thing. Slimy headbutt inflicts poison. That looks painful. Slime Cheer, uh, apparently hits at a range, so let's go after this guy. Oh no. <laughs> okay, that's, that's pretty silly. I gotta say, that's pretty silly. King Mixer, apparently inflicts depraved in all things. <laughs> okay, that's a thing. Hey, dude! What do you think you're doing, dude? Jelly fight! Boom! <laughs> okay, that's pretty. I don't know what the Japanese obsession is with rock, paper, scissors. It's really bizarre. Anyway, that's the slimes of uh, four unique skills, and I will be right back.
Well, this isn't the right room at all. Oh well. Um, yeah, let's just magic change in the... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Alright, so the slime's magic change skills are Bendy Sword and Slime Aura Sword. <laughs> That's pretty great. Alright, let's lift you and then figure something out. Slime Aura Sword. It uh, looks like S'more from Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. <laughs> Alright, now that that bit of absurd time wasting is over. Uh, let's see. Next up, we have the. Um... Yeah, I guess this guy's next. Next up, we have the Mothman. He's a flying type monster. He also has an attack range of two, which is pretty great. You can see his uh, aptitudes there in the corner. <coughs> Flicker Wing gives him a 50% chance to evade close range attacks. By close range, we mean a range of one. What else could have meant that, really? Hypnosis Wave, 50% chance to add sleep effect to normal attack. That's pretty great, I gotta say. Star-crossed fate, ailment success rate increased by 30%. Emergency run, move increased by 3 when own HP is under 25%. That's pretty great. Let's go to the actual uh, correct map this time and try it out. Yeah, attack range of two. Hell's Cocoon. Where's the cocoon? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Like, it didn't even do a silk type of thing or anything. What kind of bug are you? Nightmare Hug inflicts Paralyze. Yeah. Pulsating Sonics. Enemy Prinny is confused! Also, yeah, hi there, Prinny. <laughs> Spinning Butterfly. S level power, that's alright. <laughs> Mothman Suplex, okay. <laughs> alright, now for his magic change skills. Let's get Rutil out here. He magic changes to a bow. Mothman Pachinko. Here I go. Okay then. Mothman Go. <laughs> okay, that's that's pretty great. 
Early bird cameo! As for the Mothman's other skills, um, did I mention those? Stun. He learns stun. Alright. Next up, everyone's favorite mushroom, the Orangi. Uh, as you can see, uh, pretty good aptitudes all around, except for int and speed. Shroom power decreases stats of adjacent female enemy units by 20%. Soft inspiration, stats cut in half but HP recovers fully at end of turn. Punishing Punisher! Damage to depraved target doubles. Macho Splendor. Damage taken from female units cut in half. Okay, then. Alright, let's take him out on the field and see what happens. Eerie, eerie. Eerie, eerie. Spore Dance. Hits in a, uh... And it hits all adjacent tiles. Like so, it inflicts sleep. <coughs> Ringer Punch. Massive fake out. I like it. <laughs> hey, dude! Classic mushroom. Let's, uh. Well, I guess I can't reach, so whatever. Classic mushroom! <laughs> All right, final unique skill, Mushroom Harvest. Inflict Slumber. So many mushrooms, man, it's just kind of crazy all around. He also learns slumber. Now then, let's check out his magic change skills. Routile, if you would. He turns into, um, a spear. I had to check to make sure. Piston Lancer, let us beat down on every man's tear. <laughs> okay, whatever that means. Stop standing up. Okay, that that was a thing. Mushroom Mountain. Um, this I think, yes, range of four. <laughs> okay, that's pretty great. So yeah, that's the Orangi. Alright, next up, what do we have next? The Orc! Also an early game monster. Wild Gathering. Attack increase by 20% per adjacent ally unit. That's pretty okay. I could see that being used. Amnesic Blast. 50% chance to add Forget Effect to normal attack. Patience. Normal attack damage increased by 50% when, when you're at critical HP. Dark Mastery. Aptitudes increased by 20% when monster weapon is equipped. Okay, that's apparently a thing. I mean, 
but free aptitude bonus, I guess. <laughs> uh, you can see his aptitudes there. Uh, pretty high attack, pretty good stats all around. Uh, orcs aren't really magical monsters, so uh, yeah. Neither do they have telepathy, sadly. <coughs> or psychic powers or any such thing. This isn't Warhammer 40k. It's Warhammer of Zillyhoo. Flying V strike. Uh, did that does that inflict forget? I forget. It's a pretty simple attack either way. Very short animation. Does inflict forget. Mistake eraser. The orc's elegantly calculated attack. I can do it. I do it. Awesome. <laughs> it's like you see me fall off my thing? No! You will see you fall off my thing! <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know. Orc throw! Team Rocket's blasting off again. And then they came back. <laughs> because Ash's Pikachu knows how to play volleyball. Throat is starting to uh, be a problem already, which means this might be the only episode I record today. Or God's Descent. Actually, no, I shouldn't. I can do it. <coughs> I can do it. Oh, God. Hey there, Ganon. <laughs> it's a gold statue of Ganon. Alright, let's uh, check out his magic change skills. It appears to be an axe. It's an axe. Okay. Check out the skills. Pork Chop Special! That's pretty okay. <coughs> Gold Axe Silver Axe. <laughs> okay, that was a pretty good one. Am I forgetting anything? Yep, don't forget DL6. It's Braveheart. Increase attack power. It's pretty great. Alright, I will be right back while I uh, do what things wrong. Meet the ghost! It's a ghost! <laughs> a very magical monster, unlike the uh, other ones we've covered so far. Magic creation recovers SP at the end of the turn. Pretty nice, you'll never run out of, out of SP. You will never run of out of SP. Yes, English. How do I? Spiritual Wave. Damage to target afflicted by Forget increases by 100%. I could see you putting this on an orc, maybe. That might be nice. Mind Concentration! 30% of base res added to Int when Monster Weapon is equipped. That could be good for pretty much any magical monster, especially for a ghost, uh, given how high 
his int and res are. Grudge time! Int increased by 50% when critical HP. Okay, I'll take it. Let's go! Let's check out a thing, and a thing, and a thing, and a thing, 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 a thing, a thing, a thing, a thing. Thing and a thing. Hoobity bobbity boob. So yeah, uh, the ghost learns fire magic up to the Omega level. That's pretty nice. <coughs> As for his unique skills, Bite Catcher. <laughs> it's the party ball. Good times. Spirit Ignition! Range of 6 and Fire Elemental. Pretty interesting. Boom! <laughs> Exploding ghosts. Obviously, these guys are what are made into printies, except they're not, because, uh... By their... By the definition of their class. <laughs> Pixie Prank. Inflicts poison and deprave. Let's see. Okay, that's all it does, I guess. Also, you didn't get poisoned, Prinny. What the heck? Why are you not poisoned? Poltergeist. Rumor goes a staff disappears by one by one by one by one. And then there were none. <laughs> Mr. The Ghost threw everything but the kitchen sink. Everybody takes damage. forget what that boss's name is. <laughs> I haven't played Mother 3 in, like, forever. Also, what am I doing? La 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 la! La 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 I'll be in a derp! Derp 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 You are a staff. As such, you do staffy things, like, uh, ball cast. Spinning more than usual! Me too. <coughs> wow, that w that's a thing. I'll take it. Pressure bomb! Boom! <laughs> Never do signs in a pressure cooker. It could lead to horrible things. Whoops! Drop my controller. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have um. I forgot to do a thing. Okay, next up we have the kitty cat, the slumber cat, the saber cat, whatever you want to call her. She's a kitty cat, and she's okay. She sleeps all night, and she works all day, and then she meows all day, and she sleeps all day. <laughs> anyway, uh, calming aura halves damage taken from monsters. Cat step, 50% chance to evade if uh, higher up than attacker. Mass Psych. Mass Psyche? I don't know. Stats increased by 10% per same species unit. I wonder if that applies to humanoids too, or just monsters. Hmm. Rapid Move. Move increased by 2 and SP is at max. 
That's pretty okay. Of course, it's uh, not likely to last longer than item, wor item world runner. <laughs> um, aptitudes: high speed, high attack, high hit. That's pretty okay. I'll take it. <coughs> it's a meow cat. Meow meow. Cat Kick Teaser! We've seen plenty of this throughout the, uh, series. <laughs> Fish Swing! I'll attack with tonight's dinner! Meow! <laughs> Did the fish bite him or something? That's pretty funny. Chasing fishy! Let's find some Nemo. Boom! <laughs> Heck yeah. No fourth skill for you, Prinny! You will have my counter-attack instead! How do you feel about that? Eh. <coughs> Bell Volcano. Kung Fu Kitty! Heck yeah! I'll take my Kung Fu Kitty any day. Alright, let's uh, let's get Rutil out here and show off some magic change. A cat Saber is a fist! Kitty Paws! Rutil has double Kitty Paws, I don't even know. <laughs> Meow. Screw claw. Meow. Oh, hits uh, two tiles away. Okay. I have misinterpreted. Uh, it's Wolverine. <laughs> Gotta love them disguise shout out. Full on kitties, is even a skill. <laughs> Summon the kitty swarm! <laughs> yep, that's a thing. As a cat owner, I can tell you very much, that is how they will react if you bring out a fish in their presence. <coughs> Alright, next up we have... Pretty dude! Come on, dude! Hey, dude! Eat pretty bombs, dude! <laughs> Explosive nature will explode when thrown. Unit price one cent. Healing office at nurse's o healing healing office at nurse's office. Yes, <laughs> they are really cheap to heal. Bit of a uh, trait carried over from Disgaea One. Degraded life mana gain doubles when depraved. Voluntary bondage exp gain increased by 100% when paralyzed. Okay, that's a thing. Pretty good aptitudes all around, I gotta say. But how? <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I am stopping after the next monster. How well does he hold up in combat? 
Prillin Bomb! <coughs> Pingu's favorite attack. Dance back to your spot, dude. Keep being classy, dude. Priver dance! Tubs are always funny. I remember this animation took, like, forever in Disgaea 1. It's glad to see it doesn't anymore. Prinny forever! Does this kill him? 1 HP left, um, let's get a healer out there. Rutil, you are our designated healer. Nope! Okay. <coughs> Finally, Pringer Beam! Yeah! Also, they learn Target Lock for some reason. Probably because of their magic change. I don't know. <laughs> Print explosion, heck yeah. Alright, moving on to his magic change. <coughs> <coughs> His magic change skills. He has the same magic sk change skills as Hero Prinny. Magic changes to a gun, of course, and let's do the thing. Panic laser. Critical shock. Do it, do it. Do it, do it. <coughs> so yeah, that's Prinny's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, finally, we have the zombie. Uh, pretty good physical uh, stats all around. No complaints here. Corpse Eater. HP and SP fully recover if killing blow is by normal attack. Unholy Talon. 50% chance to add Paralyze effect to normal attack. Poison Mutilation. Attack increased by 50% when poisoned. Darkness Pact. Stats increased by 30%. HP cannot be healed by magic. So that's where that came from, I guess. Uh, Maybe Seto is a zombie secretly. <laughs> and that's why he always wins at children's card games. I don't know. <clears throat> anyway. Removable skull inflicts poison. I don't wonder how the zombie's head keeps its shape <laughs> when his skull is missing. It's a mystery for the ages. Zombie Tornado! Zombie party inflicts poison. <coughs> 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 
<laughs> That's apparently a thing. Zombie Rocket. It's important to know your position. <laughs> oh no, he fell apart! Dang, zombies always falling apart when you need them most. <laughs> Whoops, uh... I was about to end the episode, but I forgot to do his uh, magic change skills. <laughs> Whoops! That's gonna be a running theme here, isn't it? Alright, Rateel, get out here and let's do the thing. Zombies! Evidently magic change into a uh, xenomorph guns. <laughs> sure. Sacrifice beam. Kind of reminds me of the uh, the stunt Proto Man pulled at one point in Mega Man Battle Network 2 against Shadow Man or something. Dead or dead? <laughs> I think that's a reference to something. <clears throat> so, yeah. That's the first eight monsters. <laughs> Join me next time on Disgaea 3 when uh, we do the next eight eight uh, monster classes. And hey, if you think this video is a pretty cool thing, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And check out the rest of my LP too if you haven't already. It's a thing. <laughs> See y'all later. Bye bye